Hello my friends, I'm Cool Landy, welcome to my channel and today, I'm so happy today guys, I finally received my KS3M I've been waiting for this for a few weeks already and I was so excited and I got home a little while ago and I saw it in my backyard and that's when my heart dropped I couldn't, I couldn't think for a second that yes, they dropped this box six feet high over my fence Unbelievable, but that's what happened. I don't see any damage. I don't see any big dim in the box As you can see the box is fairly square. So hopefully My KS3M is fine. Yes, it's, it's uh, in good condition and nothing happened to it But now I'm gonna unbox it uh, So you guys can see and uh, I already have my hood top ready to go. Here I show you I already have all my setup here. As you guys can see, I already have my Cap 5 here run, my 240 30 amp, uh, it's ready to connect it and ready to go. I'm gonna be sitting in here and I'm gonna be open that window. That window has the screen, I'm gonna be opening so to blow out the heat and uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. Let me unbox it and so I can show it to you guys. Yeah, my real concern now is not only the the shell of, of the inside of the machine can be damaged, also is the inside. Hopefully nothing broke inside and this thing works fine. Unbelievable. I, I couldn't believe when I saw this in the in the in the in the, in the ground there and the grass. I gonna I gonna uh I gonna show you a clip of where the uh, the delivery person drop it over the fence it doesn't say nothing in the box doesn't say uh, fry or don't drop yes nothing nothing at all anywhere only here all my information but doesn't say anything anywhere but let's hope that this thing works and it's fine and uh yeah i don't want to be dealing with sending it back and getting another one so let's see where should I start with this? It looks the corners are good. Now he says fryer in the box, but whoever wrapped this with this, may was them. They put the fryer and the box, but there was nothing outside. Let's do this. Man, I can't wait to have this running. Hopefully it's good to go. Fingers crossed. Hopefully it's good to go. I can't believe these people. Oh wow, at least it comes with a thick foam, foam, you see, to protect it. This is really good, really nice. It looks, for what I can see, it looks in perfect condition here. It has another one on the bottom too.
it looks like the foam is, is not broken, you see? For the looks, it looks fine. It looks good. Let's hop. It stays like that. Now brand is punching you. gonna be bigger I guess not I guess it's not a big and it's in perfect condition as you can see it's, it's in perfect condition nothing is scratch or ding hopefully hopefully it works so let me hook it up and I'll show you guys once I get it hooked up, I'll show you the machine working. I'll see you now. Well, well, I'm so excited because I just received my uh, KS 3M, but a boomer, no core, no power core anywhere. No power core anywhere. So that means I was excited, ready to hook it up, and my setup here, that it took me some time to work and get it ready, but now, no power cord. So, I'm gonna have to do something about this. So, luckily, I have bought this, this cord before, by mistake, but uh, what I can do, Sorry. Locally, I have bought this code before. By mistake, but what I can do, what I need to do, I need to uh, do something with this plug. Change it to a LP20, L620P. This one right here. So I need to do some security here. Hook this up here. So I can hook it up to my... Terium Aule 240 and so I can get this baby money 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 and get it going. Let me get to to do that and I see you next.
now I got my new block L630P uh, ready for connected to the outlet and then connected to my KS3M and hopefully this thing doesn't burn out since they drop it over my fence but before I do that I just gonna plug it I just gonna plug it and I wanna check the voltage here make sure that everything is correct before I connect it to my new machine so let me do that first all right my friends let's see the voltage here let's check it before we hook it up to the gains 3m uh, we're gonna first check it here we're gonna check the voltage let's see here we should be getting 240 around 240 volt and we have exactly 241 I don't know if you can see that there but so we did a good job we do we did a good hookup that's about right and now it's time <laughs> let me unhook this here so now now we know that the voltage and my hooked up is good so now the moment of truth right so let's see the moment of truth this is the moment of truth guys i'm so excited for this hopefully because of they drop the the machine over my fence nothing is messed up inside nothing got loose or broken inside hopefully not hopefully none of these fans broke maybe i should check this fans let me see uh, let me get this here and check the fans make sure that they move you can see that one move very freely this one too so those little ones i had to check but yeah i just move it so the fans are loose I don't know, my only concern is inside. Hopefully nothing got messed up inside. <sighs> Finger crossed, oh my goodness. Hopefully this machine is good and doesn't start a fire me aquí, burn out or something. So let's see. Oh wow. Oh, it's off, so let's keep it off. Let me connect the first. I'm gonna turn it this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. I think there, you can see. I'm gonna connect the first here. Okay, we are connected. We are connected. Finger crossed, guys. Oh my goodness. I, I, hopefully, this thing is good. No headaches. Okay. Calm down. Three, two, and one. Oh my god. Oh my goodness! Yes, GG! It sounds great! GG! Wow! It's working! It's working! So excited, guys! So excited! Okay, so I have it the right way. So here, right now, it's not, it's not even hot because it's not actually working but once i get it hooked up and working then i can open the window and get all the hot air out of here but it's working my friends yes gg ah uh, okay once i get uh i get it connected to the internet and the website then i make another video and i keep you guys posted so excited my friends so excited so nice Good.
I'm glad I, this thing is not freaking broken. These people are crazy. These, de these delivery people, they don't care. He could have just walked to my front gate that is always open and bring it in and put it in front of my door and the driveway and the he in front of the garage, whatever. But no, the easy thing is, of course, drop it over the fence. This thing could be a big mess right now. A smoking or who knows what, all messed up. I'm so glad that it's working. So happy, guys. So now you guys know if you buy one of these machines, it's not gonna come with a plug. And I asked the seller, do I need to get a plug? Uh, give me the link so I can buy the plug. And he said, no, with this machine, we including the plug. You don't have to worry about it. And look, no plug came. So now you know what to get. Uh, you can get, if you guys have a question, you can ask me, but you can get this in Amazon, the core, and then this also you can get it in, in Amazon. It's actually cheaper in, in Amazon. I just went to my, my Home Depot close to here, my house, and I bought this uh, uh, L630P. That's uh, it's ready for 30 amp plug uh, connector. So you just get the connector, you get the extension cord, and you just watch my video there. I, I hook it up, it's pretty easy. Uh, you don't have to because they sell this would top the sale at eBay over $200. And this cost me maybe 60, maybe 50. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for the cord. No, not even that. Maybe less than 50 bucks you pay for this this uh the core and the and the plug. So you just have to hook it up the connector. You just have to hook it up uh, like I did. It, it took me like five minutes and look how nice it came out. And you do it yourself, like I always like to do. I like to do everything by myself. And yeah, uh, I keep you posted and I see you on the next video. GG guys, GG, 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 GG.